What if I told you that the beautiful Roland sculptures like this were ugly when they were made? They were rediscovered as white marble, but originally they were painted and would have looked so garish to our modern sensibilities. And instead of beautiful cathedrals, I thought of this nun chasing a cat with a questionable object when I thought of old art. People have been making pictures for 44,000 years, and most of it was ugly up until the Renaissance. The techniques and the materials that came out of the Renaissance are the ones we use today. The ideas that they started then are the ones that we still have today. Study of anatomy, foreshortening, scientific discoveries, new paints, new techniques, a new world. Everything was new and they were making changes with each new generation. The Renaissance is when art changed and it was beautiful and lifelike. But the change didn't stop there. When paintings were more lifelike, they called for more emotion, more feeling, more art, less science. Now that the science of making pictures was made, they learned the rules so they could break them. They made the rules so they could break them. Perspective was invented in 1400, but you don't see Van Gogh using it. His bedroom in Ala was such a departure from using perspective. It wouldn't have been the same image if he had used perspective, if he had used rendering, if he had used naturalistic colors that were more muted, faded. That wouldn't be Van Gogh. He was trying to do something different. Art changed so quickly after the Renaissance that the last 44 thousand years meant so little that we don't even think about them now. We take for granted this knowledge that was given to us by previous generations. Perspective, anatomy, foreshortening, color theory, shape design, psychology of art. That was only the last few hundred years that those things were studied, understood. This is why old art is ugly. And this is how not to make ugly art like that. Unless you want to. I thought I knew art history. I thought I had a grasp on how it affected me. I have a degree in it, but I was wrong. I didn't know anything. I knew names, I knew pictures, but I didn't know anything spent several years studying it, but not really ingesting it. I didn't see the same way as an artist. I didn't look at the paintings as an artist. I didn't see brush strokes, fingerprints, the effort that went into it, the knowledge that went into it. I didn't know what I was looking at, what I wanted to. I wanted to understand really understand. I wanted to look at things and know. I wanted to see what they saw when they put those strokes down. I wanted to understand why those shapes, why those colors, why that language that they were choosing. In the last few hundred years, we've learned so much collectively about how to make pictures. Modern art isn't ugly. It's an expanse on what we have seen before. And to make something new, to progress, you have to know what there has been. So I had to look at a lot of pictures, a lot of paintings, a lot of statues, and not just look, but observe. I had to listen to other artists talk about those paintings. I had to sit with the paintings as an artist, recreate those paintings, see why that worked, why that didn't work. I had to sit with a painting for a while, sit with a specific artist for a while, and then take that in.
taken their art as their personality. See what made them them. See how I could do that. I wanted to understand what drove them to make those pictures. Why they made things beautiful or horrifying or dark and terrifying. Collect everything that you love visually. Collect the paintings, the comics, the shows, the chair you think is designed nicely, the pattern of a fabric that you like. Take everything that you can see that you feel drawn to. Figure out where it comes from, find out who made it, and dig into them. Dig into whatever else they've made, dig into who inspired them, and then dig in to who inspired that person. And when you've collected everything, and you've taken notes on what draws you to these things, what things you really like about it, if it's the line, if it's the color scheme, if it's the shadows or the shape design, when you have figured out all of that, and you've written it down, taken notes, you've seen and examined everything that sparks something in you. When you've discovered all of that, you can start to adapt it. You can start to combine it. You can take the lines of this one thing and the colors of this other thing and put them together into something that's new and yours. When you are dissecting work, when you are dissecting images, Recreate them, redraw them, repaint them, recreate them in a way that makes you understand them better, and you will learn so much from them. You will learn so much from making those master copies, those master studies. I had to do this. I had to see how those brush strokes went down, how those paints mixed, how those paints mixed, and how they went down next to each other. When you can recreate someone else's work, you're studying them. And you're adopting some of that language, some of that essence. But no matter what you are doing, if you realize you're making something and it looks like Singer Sergeant, it's not John Singer Sergeant. It's because you studied him and you understood something from him. When you're mashing these things up, it doesn't have to be just visual things. It can be the spirit of things. It can be the essence, the emotion. You can draw from everything in your life. The nostalgic memory that you have on your parents' couch or listening to a song in the car as a teenager, or Thanksgiving with your grandmother, or anything. All of those memories that you have that define you, that make you you, will also make your art yours. You do have to learn some rules. You do have to learn about perspective, linear perspective or atmospheric perspective. You do have to learn about figure drawing because it will impact you no matter what focus you're taking with your art. Learning things like that will make you a better overall artist. If you want to do landscapes, if you want to do cartoons, if you want to do stickers, if you want to do anything, knowing the fundamentals that were established during the Renaissance will make you a better artist. You will learn so much and you will be changed by it. When you learn to see like an artist, you won't see the world the same. 
You won't see shadows the same. You won't see light the same. You will observe things differently than other people. You will see your shortcomings and where you're failing, just like I did. I've seen where I need to improve, what I need to do to get better, what I need to learn and how far I have to go. And any time I take a step forward, I will see farther on my journey. You will see more the more you go. I see beauty in life that I could not fathom before I started making art. And it breaks my heart for how blind I was to everything before. Learning how to make art is a gift to yourself and to the world. You will open up a new language that communicates across cultures, 